What's up everybody? Milk here. Welcome back to another Halo video. In this video I'm going to show the locations of all of the skulls throughout the Halo 5 Guardians campaign. Note there are no special parameters for the most part. However, you will need to play on Legendary to get the skull on the mission Glassed. This is going to be on the Fire Team Osiris or just Osiris. This is the first mission of the campaign. You're going to come up to this area fighting a bunch of Prometheans. You're going to come up to the door right here that you're going to enter, but instead go to the left and go up on the cliff right here and proceed to the outing right in front of you and the skull will be sitting there waiting. This is also probably the easiest I would have been your daddy skull to obtain, so that was pretty nice. Alright, here we are on blue team. This is going to be the black eye skull. You're going to come through that corridor, jump down into this room where the big reactor is. And in order to get to the skull, we're going to have to do some climbing. So just follow where I'm going right here. Going to jump up onto that weapon rack and then onto the pipe. Follow the pipe all the way around into the ledge. Jump up into here and you want to ground pound into the hole here to break the grate. There's a DMR and a Hydra in here, but if you go to the back wall behind here, the skull is going to be sitting there waiting for you. Just go ahead and pick that up. Alright, so this next skull is going to be on the mission Glass, and I will say that for this skull, you have to be playing on Legendary. Don't fret, this is the only mission where you need to be on Legendary in order to get the skull. This is right after you pick up the tank, or grab the tank I should say. You're going to make your way up this hill in the mission, and we're going to need to destroy a Phaeton in order for the skull to spawn. Alright, here we are, further along in the mission. You're going to come up to this corner area with this building structure in front of you. There's going to be the gate here behind as well. You're going to look up to the left where that civilian ship flew in, and right behind it will be the Phaeton. All it takes is one shot to kill it, so you'll know if you hit it, but just reset your checkpoint if you don't get it, because you have to destroy it before it blows up the civilian ship. Alright, I was able to get it on this time. This was after eight checkpoint resets. You're going to notice that when it does blow up, you're going to hear the grunt birthday party sound effect. That is basically letting you know that the skull has spawned in. Now the tricky part here is there are three possible locations where the skull can spawn and I'll show them all to you right now. The first one is directly behind you at the gate. It is in between the two yellow containers, canister things right there. I was lucky on this playthrough and it was, was right there. So just uh, pick that up and then I'll go show you where the next two are at. The other possible location for it is going to be underneath this yellow canister right here. It says on top of the building to the top right of where you guys picked up the scorpion in the first place. The third possible place is going to be in one of these cave things. It's not this first one closest to the garage, but it's going to be the second one. And it's going to be against the wall behind the two crates right here so check both or sorry check all three spots just to make sure and hopefully you're able to find the skull and grab it all right here we are on unconfirmed this is going to be the blind skull we went straight to unconfirmed because there is no skull on meridian station you're going to come to this area this is where you just fought all of the snipers and you saw a couple of marines get disintegrated. But you're going to wait for the door to open and proceed through. You're going to jump up to the left right here. And then from these boxes, you're going to try and jump up into the scaffolding to your right. You can normally just jump in and clamber. Sometimes you can crouch jump and just grab it. But anyways, you're going to go to the right again and then up into this hole where the skull will be sitting for you at the back of a little cave-like thing. This next skull is going to be on an evacuation. 
I should say that the skull is going to be kind of tough to get. Not hard, but it's tedious because you have a time limit of two minutes, and that time limit starts as soon as the mission starts. So you're going to want to beeline it for the gun goose right here and go to the left once you get out of the first gate. And there's going to be this cone, and you want to blow that up. I failed here, but there's five of these cones that you have to destroy in order for the skull to spawn. The skull spawns at the end of the mission, but it won't be there unless you get the five cones, and the fifth cone despawns if you don't do it within the two minute time frame. You'll know you've gotten the cone because when you destroy them, they'll make the grunt birthday party sound effect. So the first one is right there. The second one is going to be right up here before you enter back into the tunnel right here next to the stairs so just blow that up next one's going to be on the bridge right here it's going to be at the end behind a blown up vehicle be careful right here because I almost fell off of my mongoose it's right there behind the downed vehicle almost blew up buck or shot buck I should say I'm just gonna keep going through that is three of the cones. There's two left. You're going to get to this area and go to the right. And the next one is going to be on the ledge right here in front of us. So blow that up. And now we need to go get the fifth one, which will be by a downed pelican right here up on the ridge. There it is. So just go ahead and blow that up. I failed again. Uh, there it goes. And now you just proceed with the mission like normal the skull will be at the end. Here we are towards the end of the mission. This is where you are rushing to get back to your pelican after the guardian is taking off. Uh, the skull is right on the ground there. It is quite literally on the way to the pelican. It is on the floor though, so it's super easy to miss. It's about halfway, I'd say, to the pelican. So just be wary of that. This next skull, these next two skulls actually, are going to be on reunion. You're going after the Grunt Birthday Party Skull first. You're going to come up to this area. This is right before you fight the Covenant for the first time on this mission. You're going to turn to the right of the tree right there with the purple fire. Walking up this way will also present you to a rock that has the data pad on it. Or one of the data pads, I should say. And then you're going to turn directly around from that. Essentially, you're going to stick to the right. And eventually you will come out into a more open area with some covenant items including an energy sword for you to take it is fully charged so that's nice but over here on the ledge is going to be a grunt who's just enjoying life unfortunately for him he is holding the skull so we're gonna have to kill him we go ahead and punt him off so that's always fun he's still singing while falling which is weird but, yeah, there's the Grunt Birthday Party School. Let's just go ahead and pick it up, and that is that one. This is going to be towards the end of the mission. This is on your way to the gateway to the domain. This is directly after the part where you fly around the caves with the Phaethon. You're going to go to the right of the domain, where you'll eventually find this other Forerunner structure. You're going to go up the ramp, and then at the back of the platform will be the Fog Skull. So just go ahead and pick that up. This next skull is going to be on Swords of Sang Helios. This is the Mythic Skull. This one is kind of tricky to get because you have to do some special jumps to get to it. But you're going to come through that hallway right there that has all of the broken elite statues. You're going to come out of here and you want to go up to the rubble right here and walk up a bit. It kind of forms a natural ramp. But you're gonna jump onto the pillar right here and then to the second one here where it's like two connecting. The skull is on the ledge over there. So what you want to do, jump, ground pound, and boost, clamber up. And there's the skull. Here we are on enemy lines. This next skull is going to be the catch skull. This is going to be inside of the Kraken that you're sent in to destroy. But instead of destroying it immediately, you're going to go find the Banshees that are parked inside of it right here. And it's just easiest if you grab the one on the left 
because then you turn directly to the left and up into this cubby area still inside the kraken and the skull is at the back on the floor right here so just go ahead and pick that up this next skull is going to be on battle of sunion uh mission 12 there was no skull on mission 11 so we skipped it this is the Cabo Skull. This is at the very end of the mission where you will fight the Warden. Before you fight the Warden though, get the Skull, because once you've beat the Warden and he dies, uh, mission ends. So you're going to go to the back of the map right there and you're going to find this piece of metal sticking out. Drop down onto that and then turn directly around and the Skull will be sitting on the ground right there. So just go ahead and pick that up. Here we are on Genesis. This is the Tilt Skull. This is right after you cross over the light bridge and beat Warden again. The skull is going to be on top of the cliff or rock right there. So get ahead and get out of the scorpion and once again go to the right. There's a lot of that in this game. We're constantly going to the right of things. You're going to jump up onto the rock right here and then continue climbing. I don't know why I was having such a hard time right here. I guess I'm just not good at Halo anymore, you know? I even tried the sneaky multiplayer zoom in to hover and then clamber tricks, but that didn't work either. So I just kept trying at it until I finally got it. But you're gonna go to the end of it right here and the skull will be sitting there waiting for you. Let's so just go ahead and pick it up. This next skull is gonna be on the breaking. This is the famine skull going to come into this room full of snipers and a warping away warden eternal because cortana's got our back for once but you're going to make your way to the back of the room or back of the area i don't know if this is a room but you're going to come into this tunnel area that forms a u-shape and the skull is going to be on the pedestal ledge thingy not really sure what to call it but just pick it up and it's right there this next skull is going to be on Guardians. It's going to be the Tough Luck Skull. It is the final skull of the Halo 5 Guardians campaign. We're going to be tasked with destroying the power cores. We just blew up Alpha. And what we want to do now is make our way towards Gamma. So get on the Mongoose. It just makes it easier and faster. So you want to head towards the Cryptum. And then once again, like this game likes to do, you're going to stay to the right. We need to get up to the Pelican up there. So go to the right. <laughs> and go up the ledge cliff hill thing. I think it's just a ledge. And try not to fall off, because that, that would be helpful. And you want to try and get up over the pelican. It can be super weird to get on top of it and get over it with clambering and the rocks and everything. But just shimmying around, you should be able to get it. I was able to get it pretty quick compared to other times I've gotten here. And then you're just going to drop down on the other side of it. Try not to get stuck in the in the, in the the hole there. And just drop down. And the skull is just sitting in the rocks right there. So go ahead and pick that up. And just like that, you have gotten every single skull in the Halo 5 Guardians campaign.